thought I'd do a review of the CK2610 that Coyote puts out. I've had this tractor for about a year now and thought it was about time to do a review on it. You know, overall, I've got to say I'm very impressed with it. Um, I'll stitch in some more video here in a few minutes, you know, just out piddling around with it. But, uh, you know, it's done everything I've asked it to do. You know, I was on the fence about it or a Kubota, possibly. Uh, didn't want to pay the extra price for the green paint. Nothing against their tractors. I just, you know, don't need that green paint. I'm good with uh, orange or red and always have been. <laughs> Had there been a case dealership around, I would have looked at one of those pretty heavy too. But, you know, this little CK2610 has been a lifesaver around our place. Um, you know, our previous tractor, or I still have it, it's a uh, old gray market Mitsubishi. Uh, good little tractor, great for around the garden, good for plowing. You know, you start getting into a little heavier work and it just kind of didn't fit the bill. Uh, the 2610, on the other hand, has. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here. And, well, actually, I might just let the camera roll and uh, hop off and get everything set up. And I can stitch that in a minute. Okay. So let me get this pulled off here. All right. So... Here's our CK2610, and uh, just to give you kind of a good wide angle view of it. So, as you can see, you know, got the tiller hooked up on the back. Um, been tilling the garden, so it is not fresh and pristine and pretty and clean at the moment, uh, which is fine. You know, a tractor is supposed to be used as a tractor, and. Uh, It'll get a bath after I get done with all the good dirty work. But this little tractor has excelled at the good dirty work. You know, it's it's done great inside the high tunnel, uh, great out here um, in the garden. Uh, headed in for its 50 hour service and uh, got a great dealership over here in Anderson, South Carolina. Uh, Steck tractors, they do a great job with everything. Um, you know they keep me keep me rolling on everything but you know i guess if there's any complaint about this tractor and the only one i would have is that i didn't buy it sooner if you're in the market for one of these the 2610 uh doesn't have the region on it so you don't have to deal with all that craziness um you know and all the governmental control that goes with it um you know it's you know been great as far as power goes it's had all the power i've needed to do anything i've wanted to do around here the four-wheel drive on it definitely is a nice option um, of course your four-wheel drive control is right there uh, as far as running implements it's run everything that i've wanted to run it's handled the tiller rear mount tiller just fine uh, this is an old uh, rtc 48 by bush hog uh, not quite as wide as I want, would like, but, you know, as you can see, it's more than adequate for getting the job done out here. Um, you know, it, it's handled everything, you know, just with ease. Uh, as far as loader capacity goes on this tractor, um, the loader capacity on it has been great. Uh, of course, you know, the only thing I've really been fooling with on that side of it much with is moving a little bit of gravel a little bit of mulch well a lot of bit of gravel and a lot of bit of mulch uh the one thing that i would suggest go ahead and get a cutting bar put on there that's probably going to be our next port of call on this tractor um not sure whether i'm going to go with the piranha bar or or what i'm going to go with but uh definitely get one of those i think that would help a lot and from what i've talked with folks and read and seen it does help a lot um definitely get you a hook bolted on there uh that little hook right there will save you more headache hassle and trouble than anything especially if you're hooking up a log if you're not getting the grapple to go with it definitely get you a hook on there that way you can chain everything to it i have moved so much stuff with that little hook and a chain between logs um, great big picnic tables you know just lash it to it raise it up 
take it where I want it, set it down, you know, has definitely saved me so much time, energy, and effort. Uh, not to mention, you know, all the back breaking labor that it's saved, especially on putting out mulch, especially around the garden and greenhouse situation. Um, it's definitely helped a lot there. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think of anything else that I would really recommend. Oh, yeah, uh, your 50 hour service definitely get that done. That way, they can get it back in and check everything out, make sure that everything you know is operating the way it should um, in terms of fuel the fuel economy on this tractor is amazing um, you know let me go on and kick this on here just turn it over I'm sitting at about a half tank a little better right now and um, as you can see about 60 hours so in a year's time I've not put a lot of hours on this tractor um, but it sips fuel it really does um, as far as bush hogging goes, you know, I've never bogged it down. It's weighted good. Oh yeah, definitely get the fluid in the tires. That's gonna help a lot uh, in terms of weight. Yeah, I can't believe how good this tractor pulls uh, with that fluid in the tires. Of course, you know, that extra weight makes all the difference in the world. That's, that's really where it's at. And this is a heavy tractor. I'm really surprised at how heavy this tractor is. Um, Toolbox, I haven't mounted one permanently. I just strung an old Cabela's bag up back there on the rops and, uh, you know, just let it kind of ride. I've got them down right now where I've been working in the greenhouse and uh, on, not on anything hilly. So, anyway, um, just thought I'd give you a real quick overview of this tractor and what its capabilities are. Um, I'll throw a few more videos out or stitch in some videos here and there where we've been out tilling in the garden. Um, like I say, I mean, just a great all-around tractor. I can't complain a bit about it. Uh, it's done everything we've asked of it, and it's done it with ease. Uh, you know, yeah, it's not a 50, 60 horse tractor, and it wasn't designed to be. But if you're running, you know, 15, 20 acres or something, you've got mulch to move, you've got gravel to move. Uh, we've got about a half mile long driveway that we keep up of ours. And, you know, you hook the blade back there and it never bogs down. It never even thinks about bogging down. So definitely check it out if you haven't. You know, if you've got any questions, definitely throw some questions down in the comment section below. Um, also, you know, if you would, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, that helps us, you know, we really want to get the name out and what we're doing out here. And uh, this is one of the machines we're using here to get it done with. So, you know, to Coyote, I give a big thumbs up. To Stick Tractors, I give a huge thumbs up. Those guys are great. And I throw a shout out to them in there. As a matter of fact, there's their information so if you're in the upstate of south carolina give those guys a holler they'll do you right um you know you can't you couldn't ask for a better service team and uh sales team you know those guys are great they know their stuff they know their equipment um and they know how to work with folks that are out here on the farm so anyway um good luck to you and all that you do and enjoy and have a great spring and hope your garden does well y'all take care